Welcome to Senior Men's Game of the Week on TV7, your community sports channel. Uh, tonight's game between Pat and Mario's and the Nickel City Lasers. I'm Bob Segsworth, filling in for John Metcalf, and I'll be doing play-by-play -play this evening. Joining me in the booth is one of uh, Sudbury's uh, senior and finest referees, Mr. Angelo Anselmo. Welcome, Angelo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. What we're looking at is uh, contrasting uh, teams, the Nickel City Lasers, a young team, uh, lots of energy uh, and lots of drive. Pat Mario is on the other hand, a little older team, more experienced uh, players, play a somewhat different style of, of soccer. The two teams have met uh, twice before, and I think on both occasions, Angelo, if I remember correctly, uh, Pat Mario's won by one goal, so the games have yeah, been close. Yeah, yes, the games were close uh, on both occasions. Yeah. And I see that the officials for tonight's game are uh, Silvio Ferrucci, uh, Ignazio Spadafora, and Angelo DiPaolo. And I believe uh, Mr. DiPaolo is going to be refereeing this uh, match. It looks like, yes, because uh, the other two guys have the flags on their hands, so Mr. DiPaolo is in the middle. And we're just doing the traditional coin toss to get things organized to determine who will kick off and choice of sides. And I'm sure that uh, we'll be underway in just a moment. While we have this uh, break before action starts, I'd like to congratulate the two youth teams from the Italia Flyers who did extremely well in Ontario Cup play in the past weekend before uh, losing out in, I believe, the quarterfinals of Ontario Cup, Angelo. And I think uh, both uh, Mr. Gallo and Mr. D'Agostino deserve a great deal of credit oh, yeah, yeah, for bringing yeah. those teams along. Yes, they do. You know, they, they're really uh, doing a fine job, you know. And we also uh, want to extend our congratulations to Pat Marios, uh, who uh, lost a squeaker yesterday in uh, Burlington to Burlington United, one nothing in quarter cup, uh, quarter uh, final action of Ontario Cup. And uh, Burlington will be going on to play uh, Scarborough, Missouri, as I understand it, who won the national championships uh, uh, last year in the next round of the 1990 Ontario Cup. So there's lots of soccer action, uh, high quality going on, involving Sudbury teams. Uh, we urge all of you to come out and enjoy the, the soccer that is available in the community. And we're looking forward to an exciting contest as the two teams are just about ready for kickoff. <laughs> and we're underway. Pachito plays it back to Di Giacomo Antonio to Frank Anselmo. Di Giacomo Antonio laying it back to Joe Hamer, who's playing sweeper into the middle for Nicolucci. Nicolucci losing control of the ball, but Palladino was there. Palladino. Scarcelloni being challenged. Hamer back to Scarcelloni. Into the middle. And keeper Marino Scarcelloni off his line to cover up. Throws it out quickly to Marino Di Giacomo Antonio. Giacomo Antonio on the far wing to Pacito. Cherry's making a run. Cherry has space. Cherry making a run up the left side. Down the sideline into touch. Indicated by the linesman and we'll have a throw in for Nickel City Lasers. Infraction indicated by the uh, referee. And were you able to pick up what the uh, what the infraction was? I think was? it was an obstruction there, just you know a minor minor infraction, but you have to call it, you know. Well, it's important that the referee control the, yes, uh, the game yes. from the beginning, otherwise it can get out of hand. Well, especially in, uh, at the beginning of the game, you have to call everything, you know. You don't let them get away with anything, you know. And we have Grassi, an up and under here. Mario D'Agostino gets ahead to it to Di Giacomo Antonio, looking for Pacito. Pacito on the wing. And put into touch by Nickel City, and we'll have a throw in for Pat Marios. And again, while we have this break, I want to say that uh, while Pat Marios was down in Burlington uh, playing its game, some former Sudbury natives were out to uh, watch the game. Uh, Bruno Malvaso, in particular, asked that we extend his best wishes to everyone. As uh, Isidin Rubai takes a shot uh, from the edge of the 18 yard box, and it's well wide of the, the goal, but Again, uh, Angelo, it seems as if the uh, Pat Mario's team is uh, maintaining control of the ball and moving yes, it well. Yes, at this point they do. You know, you know they they are a veteran team and uh, they depending on ball control. And I'm I'm sure that uh, 
Pat Maros would want to say thanks to the uh, Parks Department at Burlington because they played on a field that was 70 by 120 yards, international dimension. The grass was just beautiful. Uh, and it's the kind of field that facilitates good, clean soccer because there's lots of space uh, and players don't get confined in, in, in an area, so you can play a little more technically. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's uh, that's what I heard. I mean, uh, I mean uh, maybe they were a little bit at disadvantage in playing in a bigger field, but uh, they never played that before. You know, it's uh, it does make a difference. It, it does it make a difference. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, when you're not used to it and you're used to playing on a field that's only 55 yards wide, it uh, uh, creates a lot more space that you have to fill in somehow. Yes, yes. But uh, the other thing is that I was told by people down there that uh, the field that Pat Merrow's played on is uh, played on five, six days a week, and yet it was absolutely immaculate. The grass was beautiful, there were no holes, uh, no dirt. And if Burlington's Parks and Recreation Department can do it, I don't see any reason why the city of Sudbury can't, right. uh, can't do it. Uh, the park here in Sudbury, you know, it's a little bit to be decided for, you know, it's, uh, they should do something about it. Well, hopefully something will be coming out of the leisure plan, uh, planning process as the ball comes out on the near wing. Rubai going after it, but it's into touch, and it'll be a Pat Mario's throw-in. Back there covering was Mark Barrett for Nickel City. Rob Scarcelloni comes forward to take the throw-in for Pat Mario's. Looking for someone who's open. And an infraction indicated right off the bat by linesman Spatafora, whistled down by the referee, Mr. DiPaolo, and we'll have a free kick awarded to Pat and Marios. An opportunity here close to the box, Angelo, for a set play. Yes, uh, you know, the Pat and Mario, they should be pretty good in set plays, uh, like uh, they are a veteran team. And there we go into the air, that. keeper gets a hand to it, Brownlee, and it's cleared. That was an excellent chance, you know. Hammer, the sweeper, plays it wide. DiGiacomo Antonio misses it. Heading for touch, but Pacito's back. Plays it back to DiGiacomo Antonio. Long ball through, looking for Renato Nicolucci. Brownlee off his line quickly, gathers the ball in. Good play by the keeper. He was off his line very quickly there. Yeah, yes, yes, he was. Saladino to Renato Nicolucci. Nicolucci playing it on the wing, looking for Cherry. Cherry chests it down, maintains control, beats his man. Cherry coming forward. Can't get by. All the Nickel City defenders, and Nickel City loses possession. Nicolucci to Pacito. Pacito trying for the end line to make that cross, and we have a corner kick indicated by the linesman, but I think the, he was overruled by the referee there who was in a little better position to see it. Yes, they call it a goal kick there. And we'll have a goal kick to be taken by uh, the Nickel City Lasers. <laughs> We have David Cacciati on the far wing for the Lasers, moving down the wing, looking to make the cross, being challenged there by Joe Hamer. Cacciati down, into touch, and it's a throw-in awarded to Pat Marios. Hamer looking for his keeper, Marino Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni gathers it in. And we'll be looking for a clearance from the keeper, upfield. This field, the ball bounces quite high, and it's difficult to judge quite frequently on the bounce. Mario D'Agostino loses control, pushed forward. Cacciati there, but Hamer gets a foot to it. Good ball out to Pacito. DiGiacomo Antonio to Cherry. Cherry looking for, I think it was DiGiacomo Antonio who was on a run there. And once again, it's cleared. Cacciati gets ahead to it. David Cacciati once again behind uh, number 18, that's uh, Pacini. And Pat Marios comes forward once again. Renato Nicolucci being challenged and a whistle. We have a foul on uh, Dory there. And Mario D'Agostino looking for Rubai, but Nickel City gets to it first. De Jack Antonio challenges for that ball in the air. And Selmo's back. De Jack Antonio comes away with it. Plays it back to Hamer. Hamer with time to Di Giacomo Antonio. Di Giacomo Antonio into the middle looking for Nicolucci. Two players around him. Nicolucci trying to come away with that ball, but it's number 10. That's catching. And it's just wide of the net. And we'll have a goal kick awarded to Pat and Marios. Angelo, a little confusion there, that ball into two defenders. Well, yes, a little bit. They were undecided who, who, who was going to take the ball, and then uh, there was no damage done. But, uh... All right, here we go. Action underway once again. Into the air. That's number six. Vasiliano with it. 
Being Pat Mayo's challenged, and here we go. It's Pashini with the ball. Pashini being challenged by DiGiacomo Antonio. Nickel City has some players up, but Anselmo comes away with the ball to Pachito. Pachito, as Anselmo tries to overlap on the far wing, into Nicolucci. Nicolucci looking for Rubai. Rubai heads the ball down, challenged from behind, and a good call by the referee on that infraction. Nicolucci. Four Cherry. Challenged by Barrett. Number 11, Hayes for Nickel City. Beats his man. Scarcelloni gets to it. And Rubai to Palladino to DiGiacomo Antonio. DiGiacomo Antonio on the far wing. Machido makes a run for the ball, but it's put into touch by Massiliano once again. Play seems to be settling down a little bit now. Uh, it, it, it is. He's settling down in middle field. You know, both teams they're very cautious. You know, they, they don't want to make a mistake and then you know go goal down uh, early in the game. You know. Here we go. Hamer comes up with the ball and it's into touch and it'll be a Nickel City throw in at about the 25, 30 yard line, just outside the <coughs> Pat and Mario's goal area. Throw-in comes back to number six, Especiliano. Into the middle, but Palladino was there, cuts it out. He's got Rubai on the wing, on the near side to Rubai. Is it in Rubai? For Pat Mario's looking for someone, plays it in for Cherry. Mario Cherry with the ball, two. Good, good ball there by Nicolucci, but Nickel City is back. Number four, Grassi gets his head to it. Anselmo, coming up from his fullback position, plays it in. And Nicolucci comes forward, chipping it forward once again for Mario Cherry. Cherry with the ball. Trying to beat his man. He's got a chance for a shot here. Cleared out of harm's way, but not for long. DiGiacomo Antonio with the shot. Once again, DiGiacomo Antonio. Paladino with a good shot, just wider than that. As Brownlee was moving quickly. But that was a good offensive thrust by Pat and Mario's uh, angel. It was. You know, just uh, Danny took a good shot, and, but uh, it was a little bit of white. That's, uh, that's what happened in the game. But they tell me that in soccer, the, the statistics are that for every nine shots on goal, you can expect to score once. So uh, if you don't shoot, are. you aren't going to score. That's right. That's true. In any sport, you have to shoot. Dory coming up for Nickel City. Plays it into the middle. Tripping it forward. And Cacciotti came forward as Scarcelloni came off his line. Had a quick clearance there by sweeper Joe Hamer, and we'll have a throw-in awarded to Nickel City Lasers. Looks as if number 10, that's uh, catching up for Nickel City with the throw-in. Hamer gets ahead to it, clears it away. DiGiacomo Antonio is up. Rubai in midfield, lays it back to Palladino. Palladino to Scarcelloni has come up quickly from his defensive position. Rubai. Challenging there, Rubai with a clear chance, with the shot, off Brownlee, off the post. And we have a corner kick, an excellent scoring opportunity by Rubai on an error by the Nickel City defender. I, it was, uh, it was, it just, uh, if they had a little bit of more luck, they would have had a goal. But we'll they give Aaron goal Brownlee credit right there. On the post. Yeah. Aaron Brownlee came out, cut down the angle. Right through. Rubai once again through that goal area with the chip, looking for Anselmo, and it's a goal, a lovely goal by Anselmo at the 11-minute mark of the first half. Frank Anselmo on a header from uh, Isidin Rubai. Lovely goal, beautiful setup. Yes, yes, uh, Rubai made an excellent cross, and uh, in soccer, when you have a winger that makes the cross, they always create chances, you know, and uh, there was a, a, a good goal, you know. Should point out to the fans that uh, both uh, Frank Anselmo and Isidin Rubai were teammates last year on Sudbury United, the uh, Ontario Soccer League team yeah, that played out of Sudbury. Yes, they were, and uh, they played well. You know, I, I saw a few games down south that really played well. Yeah, Nickel City back in to get the play started once again. Gregorini challenged there by Cherry. Cherry shielding the ball, beats Gregorini. Cherry coming forward. Cherry with a good ball to Pacito. Gregorini recovers and is fouled, and uh, referee Angelo DiPaolo whistles the play down. We'll get a free kick to the Nickel City Lasers, and Grassi will be taking this ball, plays it back to his keeper, Aaron Brownlee. 
And I noticed, uh, Angelo, that uh, uh, Aaron Brownlee, the goalie for Nickel City, had his hat on, then he took it off, and he's put it back on, and perhaps he's having a little problem he, with the sun. He, yes, he has. Uh, he has a little problem with the sun, and uh, you know, in soccer, most of the keeper they do wear hats. Uh. Nicolucci plays it forward. And a high foot indicated by the referee against uh, Hayes of Nickel City and Nicolucci. Setting it up for this free kick. Pat Mario's bringing lots of players forward. Chips it forward, but nobody's in there. Brownlee's off his line. Quickly gathers it up, and we'll have a clearance. Looking for Cacciotti. Scarcelloni is there first. Rubai plays it back to Scarcelloni to Palladino. Palladino challenged, and Nickel City coming forward once again. Nickel City, Scarcelloni to Palladino, but number 10 is there. That's catching. Loses possession. D'Agostino there. Played back to Mark Barrett. And Mark Barrett plays it wide. Pacito with the ball, plays it through. No, no. And it's another goal indicated uh, by the referee. Uh, Cesar Pacito uh, played that ball through, uh, Angelo, and I think that was the thing he had to do because if he'd passed it, uh, his other player was in an offside position. That, that's right. He, he played smart. Uh, he, he saw that the player was uh, was uh, in an offside position. He didn't pass the ball. He played through, and he, and he went right in himself, and that uh, was a good goal. That uh, makes the score 2 nothing in favor of Pat Mario's goal scored at the 11-minute mark by Frank Anselmo and at the 19-minute mark by Cesar Pacito. And we have wholesale substitutions now for Pat Mario's, I believe, the, or excuse me, for Nickel City. Uh, looks like five players coming on and five coming off. No changes for Pat Mario's. Uh, one of the things I noticed uh, as well, Angelo, it's a little different this evening with Pat and Mario, is they traditionally play with uh, four midfielders and three forwards, but I see tonight, that, or two forwards, excuse me, but I see tonight they seem to be playing a 4-3-3, which is a more offensive well, attacking formation. Y yes, because, you know, you, you have to score goals, and uh, lately they haven't been scoring too many, and uh, that's, uh, that's why they, I guess they change the uh, system tonight to play with three, three strikers, eh? Showmister coming forward there, gets the ball, and Selmo coming back to help out, an infraction indicated, handball indicated by linesman Silvio Ferrucci as his flag goes up. And the call is against uh, Frank Anselmo, and so we'll have a free kick to Nickel City. Emil Melvaso setting the ball up, and Emil's got a very strong shot, but this is quite a distance, so I'm assuming that he'll try and get it into the box and uh, someone get ahead to it. Chip forward, she'll miss her, a tall player, tries to get at it, Scarcelloni is there. Nguyen, Nguyen plays it back. Four, she'll miss her, she'll miss her, good play. But Nicolucci is there to cut it out to Rubai, Rubai to Nicolucci, Nicolucci. Slowing it down. Looking for support. Chips it forward for Cherry. Cherry on a run. Cherry on the edge of the box. Turns his man. Tries to beat him. Plays it to Pacito. Pacito scored the second goal for Pat Marios. Into Di Giacomo Antonio. Beats his man, but Barrett is there, as a good sweeper should be. Clears it away. She'll miss her. Chests it down. Palladino. Challenge. Takes a knock. She'll miss her once again with the ball. Challenge there. Di Giacomo Antonio and Danny Giroux. And an infraction indicated by referee Angelo DiPaolo. Quickly taken by Nickel City. Into the middle looking for Malvaso. D'Agostino gets ahead to it. Paladino's there, but Nickel City has that ball. For Nguyen. Nguyen. Manages to... Well, the linesman indicates that that went into touch, and we'll have a throw-in, I believe. Referee, uh, when in doubt, makes a good move. He checked with his linesman to be sure of the call, Angelo. That's and right. Uh, it was a in. Sometimes they complain that the, the call comes a little bit late, but better have the right call a little bit late than too soon to have the wrong call, you know? Rubai for Nicolucci. Good ball, and uh, Rubai goes down on a tackle. He's up quickly. guys, let's start going a little harder now. And I see that uh, the referee has decided to call these, Angelo, and I think it's uh, some people complain that, that referees don't play the advantage enough, but I think when you have a game that might get a little bit rough, 
if you call it and whistle it down, it lets the players know they aren't going to get away with it. That's right. That's uh, we have a lot of complaining about this, but uh, you know, I, I refer some games myself, and I always call because you have to to make the right call, and uh, by calling it, you slow the temper down. You know, and uh, it helps. It helps control the game. And we have a Pat Mario's throw-in <coughs> on the uh, near sideline. And Captain Renato Nicolucci is capable of a long throw in into the box. So once again, we see a number of Pat Mario's players coming forward, looking for that throw in. Looking for D'Agostino gets his head to it. Challenge, Cherry was up. And DiGiacomo Antonio with a shot uh, well over the goal post, perhaps a three-pointer in football. But again, they're taking, they're getting chances and they're shooting, Angelo. Yes, yeah, so that, that's the one good thing about, you know, tonight uh, they're shooting more than I've seen them shooting before. Frank Anselmo coming up, anticipating that pass with control. DiGiacomo Antonio loses possession. High foot indicated and a whistle against Nickel City. It'll be Pat Mario's with the ball. Once again, Nicolucci setting up the ball for this uh, set play. Pat Mario's players coming forward on the edge of the box. Nicolucci players are stationary and I think they should be running under this ball. Here we go looking for Cherry in the middle, but Brownlee comes off his line well and grabs it, brings it down. Good goalkeeping by Aaron Brownlee. Long clearance. Belvaso challenging. Hamer is there with the clearance for Scarcelloni. He loses control, and it's Richard Shilmistra. Shilmistra. Nicolucci intercepts the pass. Nicolucci with the ball. Playing it wide. It's into touch, and uh, I believe it's a Nickel City throw-in. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Should point out that uh, many of our viewers perhaps will know uh, Richard Schulmister better from his hockey days. I understand that uh, he's an excellent goalkeeper. I've known known him for a number of years, but that he's been awarded a full scholarship to the United States to play hockey to uh, an American university. I'm not sure whether he chose uh, Miami of Ohio or St. Cloud, but in any event, I want to wish him the best of luck in his uh, four years of university in the in the States. And this is becoming more common now, Angelo, where we see uh, youngsters who play hockey in the winter playing soccer all summer. It helps keep them in condition. Y yes. Uh, it's, it's more of a hockey player playing soccer in the, sum in the summer because uh, it's good for them. You know, they, it's something to do for them. It keeps them in shape. And when they go to training camp, they fit. Well, Anselmo gets ahead to it there. DiGiacomo Antonio once again on a corner kick that was awarded to Nickel City. The end comes back. Plays it back to number four, Grassi. Grassi with a long ball through, looking for Shellmistress. Shellmistress was open on this wing. Falls down in the box. Too bad. And Mario D'Agostino gets a foot to it into touch. But that was a very real chance for Nickel City. Yes, there. it was. Uh, well, luckily, the stumble on the ball, otherwise, he would have had a clear cut uh, breakaway there. Rubai plays it to Nicolucci in the middle. Nicolucci to Pacito. Pacito down the wing, challenge. Long ball looking for Rubai. But uh, no danger there at all for Nickel City as Brownlee picks it up. And Brownlee will be clearing the ball downfield. And an infraction called by referee Angelo DiPaolo. A little bit of uh, pushing or shoving in the back yes. by uh, Robert Scarcelloni. It's the worst. Min Nguyen for Nickel City, looking for someone to uh, get the ball to, but it's into Scarcelloni right off the bat. Nguyen regains possession. Nicolucci chips it uh, and regains control. Nicolucci coming forward with the ball. To DiGiacomo Antonio into traffic, and Shilmister comes forward. Shilmister with the ball. Danny Palladino. Being challenged, and it's played back. That was Dallas Dottilio uh, challenging Palladino, and ultimately keeper Marino Scarcelloni slows things down, gives his players a chance to move up. Long clearance there. Cleared away. Malvaso, though, on the far wing in Como. But Frank Anselmo with the throw in, plays it back. Joe Hamer, Hamer, switching the play to Scarcelloni for Palladino, but Nguyen is there, can't control it, it's into touch, and we'll have a Pat Mario's throw in. Renato Nicolucci, chips it down the line, looking for Rubai, 
Uh, good idea, but just a little bit wide. A little bit wide. Yes, the idea was there. And if the ball would be a little bit inside the field, uh, Rubai would have had a good, uh, good chance to go right on goal. Right up here. Nickel City throw in. Mario D'Agostino gets ahead to it into the middle. Pacito challenging, but Grassi gets to that ball first. Played out on the far wing. Nickel City coming forward, looking for the long ball. Frank Anselmo is there, touches it forward. Once again, regains control. Anselmo coming forward from his fullback position into the middle for Cherry. Cherry chips that ball. Anselmo's running onto it. And Grassi was back, cleared it for the moment. But Pacito with the ball, chipping it forward, looking for Cherry. Through Rubai with the chance and a good shot. An excellent, an excellent save excellent by Aaron save, Brownlee. Yes. Angelo, if I'm not mistaken, it looked to me like uh, Rubai hit it on the outside of his right foot, and it seemed to bend a little bit. That, that's what it is. It's, uh, that was a nice shot. You know, I like shots like that. You know, and uh, same as the goal, they, they have a problem in when, uh, on shots like that. Chipped forward by Cherry, but Palladino can't bring it down and uh, get the shot. So Brownlee with the ball. Pat Mario's putting pressure on, and they're leading two nothing. Against Nickel City Lasers, we've played about 20-25 uh, minutes of this first half, and Brownlee puts the ball into touch, so we'll have a Pat Mario's throw-in. And Selmo with the throw-in to Pacito. Pacito plays it back, but it's cut out, and Nickel City comes forward. Nickel City, four she'll miss her, she'll miss her. With the ball to Nguyen, loses possession, but she'll miss her, recovers. Shulmistra playing it for Nguyen, good ball. Rubai gets a toe to it, played back. And this is number two, Rinaldi. Rinaldi forward. Di Giacomo Antonio gets a foot to it. Dallas Dottilio laying it off. Pacito's com uh, come back. And Cherry to Anselmo. Cherry and Anselmo looking for the break. And we have a throw in to Pat Mario's. Quickly taken into Mario Cherry. Cesar Pacito. Di Giacomo Antonio. Paladino into the middle. Rubai on the near wing plays it back to Rob Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni looking for support. Off number eight to Dallas Dottilio, and we'll have a throw in to Pat Mario's. You'll notice that a number of the defensive players for Pat and Mario's especially, Angelo, are coming forward uh, when they get an opportunity, and they're overlapping on the play. Yeah, yes, uh, this, uh, this is nice. You, know, you like to see this in soccer when the uh, defend, uh, defender overlaps and uh, they create more chances. You have a, an extra, like you're having an extra forwards for that play, you know? And there's another example there, although the, it was whistled down. Frank Anselmo had moved up and uh, took the ball away, but referee DePaulo ruled that it was uh, illegal contact, and we'll have a free kick awarded to Nickel City. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this Friday we have a very exciting uh, exhibition match uh, arranged in Sudbury. The Hamilton Steelers, who are the 87, 88, and 89 uh, Eastern Canadian champions and Canadian finalists of the Canadian Soccer League, will be in Sudbury playing the Sudbury Selects. Uh, we're expecting an excellent crowd for what should be a very entertaining match. And a number of the players who are out here tonight will be playing in that match, including Mario D'Agostino, uh, who had his head to it. As a clearance to Carlos Castillo, who has come on. Castillo looking for Rubai. Rubai does maintain control. Looking for Castillo, puts it through the middle. And an infraction uh, indicated against Castillo there for Pat Mario's, and we'll have a free kick awarded to Nickel City. I notice the referee is very careful about where he wants that ball position, Angelo. Yes, it is, because you don't, you don't want to give uh, any advantage to, to anybody. You know, the, the, the fence was, uh, was in that spot. That's where the ball has to be placed. So we have Brownlee once again as uh, Rubai tried to uh, chip it forward. No one to run onto it. And we'll have a clearance by Brownlee. Good high ball. Anselmo gets ahead to it. Flicks it into the middle. Scarcelloni well up in the air. Anselmo with control. 
being challenged. Anselmo loses possession. And an infraction indicated by referee Angelo DiPaolo, and we'll have a free kick awarded to Pat Marios. Mario D'Agostino is take this. Mil Malvaso moves in to cut off a passing lane. Long ball forward. Cherry chips it through, but there's nobody there. Uh, good play by Mario Cherry. He managed to just flick it on to an open space. And uh, there was, was somebody uh, onto it. It was a good play, but just uh, Danny Paladino, he couldn't get there in time. Cleared back by Frank Anselmo, uh, Anselmo to his keeper, Marino Scarcelloni, out to Mario D'Agostino. And an infraction once again indicated by referee Angelo DiPaolo. Uh, we've played uh, not almost 30 minutes of this first half. And at this stage, it's Pat Mario's two. Nickel City, no score. Ball pushed through, nobody there. A little bit of a delay, and I think uh, Mario Cherry, for Pat Mario's, was concerned about being offside. Uh, yes, he was. He hesitated a little bit in going to the ball, and uh, when the pass came, it was a little bit too late. Paladino, Paladino to Cherry. Cherry plays it for Nicolucci. Can't get a foot to it. Di Giacomo Antonio is there, but Grassi with the ball plays it forward. Melvaso to Shulmistra, Shulmistra chipping it forward for Melvaso. Hammers there for Pat Marios, plays it back out. Cherry being challenged from behind. Nguyen off Nicolucci, Nicolucci with the ball. Coming forward in midfield. Four against three here, plays it for Cherry. Cherry being challenged, lays it back for Nicolucci, but Nguyen, good play, came back to help out. And it's Castillo with the ball on the far wing, being challenged, little bumping there, and referee DePaulo whistles it down. Uh, that was a good call. Castillo looking for somebody to make a run. Anselmo's come up. Anselmo with a head to it, looking for Cherry, but uh, Brownlee is there. And with the clearance once again. For moving it forward, it's into touch, and it'll be a Pat Mario's throw in. This is a bit of a tough game for Pat Mario's Angelo. They, they drove down to Burlington at 7 o'clock yesterday morning, played in Burlington, lost 1-0, drove back, got in about midnight, 1 o'clock, and to be out here again tonight is is really uh, going to require a great deal of stamina. Yes, it would be a tough game, but uh, the players are doing all right. Uh, you know, they're trying hard. They, they, they're doing all right. Uh, it was a long trip, as you said, the driving back and forth, you know. That's one of the difficulties that Sudbury teams often face is the, the problem of distance. And yes, this is this is this is bad for our team. Is uh, every time you go down south and you know the traveling. Uh, if you could go to there the day before, it would be fine. But uh, you know, <laughs> everything then, then costs the cost money. gets very yes, expensive. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, an infraction indicated by referee DePaulo at the midfield area. We have about uh, 15 minutes left to go in this first half with Pat Mario's leading Nickel City 2-0. DiGiacomo Antonio beats his man. DiGiacomo Antonio coming forward. In for Cherry. Cherry pushing it forward to Castillo. Castillo can't maintain control. And it's off Castillo and into the arms of Aaron Brownlee, the Nickel City keeper, who's certainly been uh, the much busier of the two goalkeepers this evening. Yeah, yes, he hasn't been a very busy, and he played good. He came out when he had to come out, and he made some good saves. Long ball on the clearance, into touch, and uh, Mashoki Abrams can't, uh, can't control it, and we'll have a Pat Mario's throw in. <laughs> Anselmo, Frank Anselmo coming forward, being challenged, coming forward once again, challenged on that sideline, and Nickel City come away with that ball. Playing it forward. <laughs> Keeper Scarcelloni well out of his area to clear that ball into touch and out of danger. And that's not a bad idea. Uh, well, well he had no choice. He couldn't, uh, couldn't very well uh, grab it with his hands because it would be a uh, free kick. Uh, he did good. He cleared out of the way, out of danger. And we're looking at a substitution for Pat Mario's. It looks as if uh, Dino Cacciotti is coming on. Frank Anselmo uh, is going off. I take it uh, Frank must have suffered uh, some sort of injury. Some kind of injury, yes, because he, he's limping a little bit. And uh, 
An effort there to chip the ball into the uh, goal area by Nickel City. Over the goal line and we'll have a goal kick awarded to Pat Marios. Hopefully it's nothing serious and we'll see Frank Anselmo back in the game in a, in a few moments. Jack Antonio with a head to it. Barrett is there. Castillo cuts it out, pushes it back. D'Agostino there. D'Agostino to hammer, hammer. Coming forward. De Giacomo Antonio to Nicolucci. Nicolucci chips it forward for Cherry. There's a chance here. Cherry's a very strong player. He's got to beat Barrett. Challenged by Barrett. Makes the shot. And an excellent save by, by the keeper, Aaron Brownlee. And I think we're uh, a bit of a scuffle in the goal area involving Mario Cherry, De, uh, Mark Barrett, and Aaron Brownlee. Yeah, it's, there's no need for that, you know. Yeah, and Grassi with the goal kick, or I should say the, uh, the free kick. Nicolucci there, Nicolucci coming forward, being challenged through three players. Nicolucci still, and Barrett puts it into touch. And we'll have a throw-in awarded to Pat Marios. Nicolucci looking for someone in the box. Scarcelloni tries to get ahead to it, but Barrett is there with the clearance. And an infraction indicated by referee DiPaolo against, I believe, Mr. Cherry once again, or at least he's pointing at Mr. Cherry. And we'll have a free kick awarded to the Nickel City Lasers. Nickel City taking his time getting this underway to Mark Barrett. He plays it back to his keeper who can now pick it up with his hands, Angelo, and make the long clearance. Yes, yes he does. You know, uh, Mr. Chet is going to be very careful now because he's, he's got a yellow card already and uh, he doesn't want to get any more. Then he's going to he's going to be sent off the field and then he's going to put his team of men short. Well, we have a throw in here, but I think taken by catch in for Nickel City. D'Agostino gets his head to it. Paladino, Tushil Mistra. Unfortunately, they're not on the same team as Nguyen comes forward. Dino Cacciati plays it wide. Paladino brings it down. He's got Rubai on the near wing. Rubai with the ball, plays it forward for Nicolucci. Nicolucci with space, coming forward, pushes it through for Cherry. Cherry can't quite control it, but he maintains possession, looking for support. Nicolucci is there, but Cherry comes forward to Castillo. Castillo with the ball, tries to get it to Cherry. Coming forward once again, Nicolucci is there. And unfortunately, he couldn't get through the referee to get to the no, ball. He was a little bit happens, uh, too close to the play. Yes, he was too close to the play. But things like that happen, you know. And a clearance by Brownlee. Chested down by Paladino to Rubai. Rubai beats his man on the near wing. Rubai making the move, looking for support in the box, trying to get his round, around his man. And Barrett, once again, as the sweeper should, the last man back, clears it. Uh, into safety over the goal line and we have a corner kick corner kick here an opportunity for a set play and you'll see pat mario's bringing a number of their their players forward basically uh, eight players in the scoring area only two players back plus the keeper nicolucci making a run and ahead to it by cherry and a goal beautiful goal beautiful goal at the 36 minute mark that's mario cherry Making it Pat Mario's three, Nickel City Lasers, no score. And certainly this is the most offense we've seen from this team <laughs> all season, I think, Angelo. Maybe, maybe the new system works for them, you know, by, by playing three strikers up front. But, uh, you know, as uh, they are a veteran team, they go to set plays, and, uh, you know, a corner kick, well, that was a set play, you know. Well, if I remember correctly, uh, basically did, didn't wasn't one of their other goals on a, on a set play too? Y y yes, so that was the first goal. That's eh? right. That's the one uh, Frank had so much. Yes, that's correct. Yes. And a good cross from uh, from Rubai, Rubai if I yes. correctly. 
And Di Giacomo Antonio to Mario Cherry. Cherry plays it back to Rob Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni into the box, and it's back heeled by Joe Hamer to keeper Marino Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni with the clearance. Looking for Rubai. Barrett gets there. Rubai challenges, plays it to Nicolucci. Nicolucci looking for someone to make the run. Rubai was coming through, and Cherry's trying to get to it. Cleared away by number 10. That was uh, Kachin. Castillo gets to it. It's over to Rubai. He heads it to Nicolucci. Good play, Nicolucci. With time and a little bit of space. Chips it forward, looking for Rubai. Paladino and Nguyen. Plays it forward. Dallas Dottilio coming forward. She'll miss her, breaking in the middle, tries to get it through, but Hamer intercepts the pass, controls, comes forward, and pushes it into midfield. Nguyen is there, and so is number two. That's Jay Rinaldi for, for Nickel City, as Dallas Dottilio once again coming forward. Dino Cacciati there with the ball, and Carlo Castillo. Carlo Castillo for Pat Merrill's. Plays it wide to Mario Cherry. Cherry's looking for the break. The ball is through. Here comes Castillo. He's got a chance being challenged from behind. And number 10, that's Kachin, uh, did an excellent job in slowing, uh, skewing, slowing uh, Castillo down. And on that play, uh, miscommunication there. Yeah, yes, there was a little bit of mis miscommunication. But, uh, you know, yeah, I noticed that uh, the forwards, they, they break for open space. You know, that's what uh, they have to do. When you go for open space, there's a chance that uh, the ball comes to you, you know. It's easy for the, the player that carries the ball to make a good pass. Vitellio yeah. challenge there. Shulmister gets a foot to it, looking for Nguyen. Nguyen brings it down. Nguyen moving into mid, into the middle, plays it off. That's Danny Drew, I believe, losing possession. Challenge there, D'Agostino. D'Agostino comes away with it for Rubai. Rubai plays it back to Cacciati to Nicolucci in midfield. Renato Nicolucci, good ball, square to Scarcelloni to Castillo. Castillo tries to back heel it, but uh, can't connect with uh, Rob Scarcelloni, who's making the run. Scarcelloni there, chips it forward, hoping Cherry would be able to run into it, but couldn't, and has played safely back to keeper Aaron Brownlee. And there, once again, we see fullbacks or defenders coming forward and getting into the offensive play, Angel. Yeah, yes, they, they do. They do it on this game. It's, uh, it's nice to see it. See, everybody gets in the game. And once again, it's Nickel City coming forward, but Renato Nicolucci gets there, plays it back to his keeper. And you'll notice, uh, watching as that ball was pushed back, how many times it bounced as opposed to rolling well, on the, the field. The, the, field the field is a problem. Lots of faces. The field is a problem. You know, uh, look at the middle. It's, uh, it's there's no grass at all. You know, it's it's, it's hard for the player to, to control the ball, but uh, uh, they, they're doing it very well. They're doing it excellent tonight. You know. Uh, particularly if you have a team that wants to play ball control and keep the ball on the ground, it's very difficult. Yes, it, it is, because, you know, soccer is made to be playing on grass, but uh, here we're liking a lot of grass around here. <laughs> Good ball out for Palladino, but it's put into touch by uh, number two, Rinaldi. Uh, again, a good play as uh, Pat and Mario Hose keep pressing. Nicolucci to take this throw in for Pat Marios. Again, I expect a long throw. You'll see uh, eight players uh, up front looking for it. D'Agostino is there. Cherry is there. And Rubai came in and went off uh, the keeper and will have a corner kick, I believe, awarded to yes. Pat Marios. Yes, that's why he's a corner kick. Uh, the goal made an excellent, excellent save. And I... Uh, kind of appreciate very much what uh, the referee is doing, making sure that the goalie is okay before uh, play resumes. Oh, yes. You have to make sure that uh, the players are all right. And uh, you want to check with the goalie. The goal is fine, and play resumes. An excellent cross by Rubai from that corner, low and right through the box. And the referee has indicated an infraction, and we'll have a free kick. Uh, nobody could get ahead to it uh, on that corner. But two of our three goals have come this evening on set plays, and if teams keep getting these corner kick opportunities, and well, they're going to keep on scoring. Yeah, they're going to score. Keep yes, yes. Cherry with a chance. Long distance shot. Brownlee gets behind it, knocks it down. Good goalkeeping. Yes, good they, shot. They keep him beast tonight. 
Cacciotti in there being challenged by Dottilio for Shilmistra. I believe that's uh, Danny Giroux playing it forward. Emil Malvaso being challenged. And it's a free kick awarded to Nickel City in a dangerous position, just five yards outside the 18-yard uh, box. D'Agostino playing it wide. Rob Scarcelloni can't get to it, but it's back to Mario D'Agostino. Castillo on a run. Castillo looking for support. Lovely ball through to Cherry. Cherry trying to beat his man. Cherry with the shot. And just over the net, but uh, an excellent play by uh, Carlo Castillo there. Yes, it was. It was an excellent play but by Castillo running up uh, the left side of the field and then making the cross across and Sherry coming from behind. He had an excellent chance, you know, and so this shot was a little bit wider and high. But that's quite traditional soccer, isn't it, Angelo, where you play the ball up the wings and then try and get the ball into the middle for the shot? That's what uh, the game is all about. Uh, any team that has uh, two excellent wings, fast wings, they always uh, uh, create chances for you, you know. Well, we have a throw in once again as the ball goes into touch on the far side, and it looks like Rob Scarcelloni will be taking the throw in for Pat Marios. With uh, only about two minutes left in the first half, it's uh, Pat Mario's three. The Nickel City Lasers, no score. We've had uh, goals scored by Frank Anselmo, Cesar Pacito, and Mario Cherry thus far in the game. Uh, obviously a mistake on my part. It's the throw in to Nickel City Lasers, and it looks like Emil Malvaso is there with the throw in. <laughs> Looking for Giroux, but a excellent opportunity there on that... Uh, Chip into the box, over the head of keeper Marino Scarcelloni and now Shilmistro on the near side looking for the cross, trying to get into the middle. Hammer there, comes out, Rubai. Good ball to Cherry. Cherry looking for the break up the middle. Here's Castillo once again, and the flag went up. Might, might be a little bit of controversy on that uh, one, uh, Angelo. It would be uh, because uh, it seems from here that uh, the, the player was coming from behind. You know, he was attacking the ball. But the the in line, they made a call, and uh, we got to live with it. Well, it's amazing how many players want to protest offside calls. It doesn't matter how you call it. Well, uh, it they, seems to be there's always one player who's going to protest. Yes, the, the offside is the, the most controversial call in soccer. You know, no matter uh, how you call it, there's always uh, uh, you can debate about it. You know. Well, I understand that the, the uh, international uh, soccer organization, FIFA, is going to be changing the rule, and we can be talking about that when we come back in the uh, second half. Right now, we're going to take a break in this uh, Senior Men's Soccer Game of the Week on TV7, your community sports channel. It's Pat Mario's three, Nickel City Lasers, no score, and we'll be right back in just a minute. Welcome back to Senior Men's Soccer Game of the Week on TV7, your community sports channel. We're in the second half of this exciting match between Pat Mario's and Nickel City Lasers. The score at halftime is Pat Mario's three, Nickel City no score. Goal scored at the 11-minute mark by Frank Anselmo, at the 19-minute mark by Cesar Pacito, and at the 36-minute mark by Mario Cherry. Pat Mario's playing a different formation than what they have in the past. It seems to be working, Angelo. They're uh, getting more goals in the back of the net, which is something they haven't been able to do yes, uh, uh, in the season. They're playing with three strikers now, and it helps them. Uh, the games before, Sherry was alone as uh, the, only, the only striker. It was a little bit hard for him to score, you know? Well, I see that uh, the referee, Mr. DiPaolo, is getting things organized, and we should be underway in a moment. I'd like to remind the fans of uh, soccer in this community that uh, the Hamilton Steelers will be here this Friday the 27th for an exhibition game against the Sudbury Selects. 
The game time is 8 o'clock at Queens Athletic Field, and we look forward to seeing all of you out for what should be a very entertaining uh, uh, match. Referee checking with his linesman. And we should have play underway in just a second. Emil Malvaso to take the kickoff with Dallas Dottilio, I believe, for Nickel City. And play is underway. Dottilio playing it back to number 21, Danny Giroux, lays it back. And a long ball through into the middle. Scarcelloni gets ahead to it there. Another head once again. Rob Scarcelloni on the wing. DiGiacomo Antonio loses control, and it's Nguyen coming forward for Nickel City. Nguyen on the wing to Malvaso. Malvaso maintains control. Malvaso looking for the chip into the box. Hammer is there and clears it uh, on the wing to Carlos Castillo. Carlos Castillo coming forward. Castillo plays it back to Cristo. Good return pass. Castillo looking for some support. It's chipped into the middle. Looking for Rob Sigsworth, but Nickel City is there and it's cleared back by Grassi to his keeper, Aaron Brownlee, who certainly had a busy first half. Number of substitutions uh, for Pat, uh, Pat Mario's. See, Rob Sigsworth has come on for Mario Cherry. Uh, Frank Cristo has come on for, uh, I believe, uh, Dan Palladino. I see, um, let's see if there are any others. Uh, Roy Fabiani has come on, I believe, for uh, Mario D'Agostino, or at least uh, Mario D'Agostino has come off. Rob Scarcelloni has moved into the uh, stopper or uh, center half uh, position. Yes, he did. And uh, he plays in the middle, and uh, Frank Anselm was replaced by... Uh, where is that number? I believe that's uh, Roy Fabiani over Roy, on the far yeah, side. Yes, you're right. It's Roy Fabiani. Fabiani has the ball. Plays it in the middle of Nicolucci. Nicolucci with the turn, controlling it, playing it to to Giacomo Antonio, who tries to return the favor. But once again, it's Grassi there for Nickel City. Grassi taking his time with the ball. Played it wide on the near side. Good ball. Played back for Danny Giroux. Giroux into the box. Hammer gets ahead to it for Cristo. Cristo. Cristo with control. On the wing to Castillo. Castillo into the middle for Nicolucci. Played through for Segsworth, but Segsworth with a chance. Challenged there by number four by Grassi, and it looks like a corner kick to Pat Mario's. Uh, it's a throwing ball. Is it? Oh, I see it. Yes, it's a twin. And I'm assuming... There we go. It's uh, Castillo looking for Cristo. Back to Castillo. Castillo with the, into the box. Segsworth oh. gets ahead to it, but wide of the net. Excellent cross by Carlo Castillo for Pat Mario's and headed just wide. Another yes, good scoring opportunity from it, basically it, a set play. Yes, it was uh, like uh, all night long on set plays. Uh, Pat Mario, they've been uh, they've been very good. They, they worked got, it very they, well off that throw in from uh, Castillo to Cristo back to Castillo and across the uh, into the box and Segsworth was there but couldn't head it into the back of the net. Just he had a little bit of wider. Rossi with the clearance. And an infraction indicated against uh, Dino Cacciati of Pat Mario's. No, I take that back. It's uh, in favor of Pat Mario's, and they'll be taking the free kick. Frank Cristo looking for Nick, somebody making a run into the box, but Brownlee comes off his line well, knocks it down, and controls the ball. The Brownlee with possession. Clearance for Dottilio looking for Shilmistra. Dottilio coming forward, Dallas Dottilio. Dottilio with the ball. Nickel City moving players forward. Good cross into the box. Fabiani gets ahead to it. But Dallas Dottilio being challenged there by... Is it in Rubai, and we'll have uh, a Nickel City throw in. Nickel City seems to uh, have decided to push a little harder so far early in this second half. Angela. Well, they have to. They, you know, they three, three goals down. They have to try to get a goal uh, in the next five, ten minutes, you know, in order to get back in the game. And an infraction called against, I uh, believe, Roy Fabiani at Pat Mario's. will have a free kick from a dangerous area just outside the, uh, the box. 
Emil Malvaso, the referee, is not happy with the wall being 10 yards away from that ball on the free kick. And Malvaso getting ready to take the free kick. The referee checking the wall, moving it back, making sure that the 10 yards are there. Yes, yes. That's his job. Played on the ground. Scarcelloni was there, and uh, catch it, try to get to it. Di Giacomo Antonio with a good move, chip forward. Barrett can't get at it. Sags was challenging there. Pushed forward once again. And it's played back to the keeper, Aaron Brownlee. Tilio, good control of that long clearance, but dispossessed and Rubai for Nicolucci. Nicolucci, Cristo making a run. <coughs> Nicolucci, good control once again, coming forward, being challenged. To Giacomo Antonio with the ball. Giacomo Antonio with the shot. Sagsworth loses possession. And a clearance there by Katchen. But once again, t coming forward, Castillo for Pat Marios. Castillo being challenged, two players. Castillo once again, but dispossessed, and is number 13. That's David Cacciotti playing it back to his keeper. <clears throat> Long ball, keeper Scarcelloni off his line, clears it with the foot. Shilmistra, Shilmistra being challenged. Shilmistra looking for some support. And Grassi there being challenged by Nicolucci and the pressure causes Grassi to put it into touch and we'll have a throw in to Pat and Marios. Well, perhaps Angelo at this break, you could tell us uh, what the, the rule change in the offside is, is likely to be for next year. Well, uh, FIFA will want to change the offside rules that, uh, as it is now, a player in line with uh, the last defender, if the cross comes over, is automatically offside. But uh, next year, they, they want to change it that uh, if you're in line, you're not offside anymore. I hope it's going to help the game, you know. Well, I think the theory is that it's going to be more exciting and it's going to be more offense, but I think there's going to be more yelling at linesmen as a result as well. It would be. It would be. It is controversial now, and I believe it will be more controversial next year. So Mester gets ahead to it, but Scarcelloni is there. Scarcelloni plays it to Nicolucci. Nicolucci looking for support. Nicolucci beats his man, plays it forward for Cristo. Cristo pushes it through, but uh, Brownlee is there. And uh, taking his time, slowing it down, letting his men have the opportunity to move forward. Brownlee with the goal, with the clearance. And Fabiani with his hands in the back of Dottilio, whistled down by the referee. And we'll have a free kick awarded to Nickel City Lasers. This looks like uh, Richard Schulmistra on the ground. Oh, yeah. Cacciotti tries to get to it. And there's a whistle there. I believe it's called against uh, Cacciotti, and I think we'll have another free kick for Nickel City in a rather dangerous position. Again, just outside the 18-yard box. Looks like the Tilio's going to take it. Takes it quickly. This is batted and wide open. And it comes off uh, number eight, I believe, Dallas the Tilio. See, that, that was a smart play. They, they took the free kick right, right away. They didn't wait for the wall, and uh, it created an excellent chance. But uh, the keeper was uh, uh, was alert, and uh, he wasn't fooled by it. You know. Good play by keeper Scarcelloni. Cacciotti coming forward. Nobody in the middle. Barrett. Mark Barrett being challenged. Castillo tries to get to it, but number 13 is David Cacciotti. Challenge. Segsworth to... Di Giacomo Antonio, Di Giacomo Antonio fighting for control. Once again, Nickel City with the long clearance. Scarcelloni gets ahead to it, back into the middle. Shilmistra is there. Shilmistra to Cacciotti. That's, uh, excuse me, Danny Giroux being challenged by Nicolucci. Giroux on the run. Scarcelloni comes across. And an infraction indicated there by the call by the linesman. Well, Some was, controversy on that one, but we'll have a free kick awarded to Nickel City once again. Yeah, there was a little bit of a push in there. The referee had to call it. They want to keep the game clean, you know. Looks like Dallas uh, Dottilio standing there with uh, Mr. Giroux. 
Cochelio starting to move, and we see the Nickel City players moving in the box, and that's what they should be doing, but Hammer gets ahead to it, clears for Pat Marios. Nguyen chips it back wide. Drew with the ball. Challenged by Nicolucci. Nicolucci comes up with it. Challenged once again, but Cristo comes forward. Cristo for Castillo. Castillo plays it back for Cristo. Cristo with the ball, plays it square to to Giacomo Antonio, to Giacomo Antonio coming forward, looking for support, chips it forward, looking for, is it in Rubai? Barrett is there. Uh, nice ball through to Richard Chilmistra. Counter attacking now is Nickel City. Nickel City coming forward, long ball through. Too far, no problems at all for the keeper. Scarcelloni throws it right out to Dino Cacciotti. That's good goalkeeping once again. Oh, yes, he read the play well, you know. Castillo for Cristo, challenged by Shulmistra. Shulmistra back heels it to number 16, that's uh, Dory. And a whistle on an infraction once again by referee Angelo DiPaolo. <laughs> Hammer gets ahead to it, into the middle, and uh, again an infraction indicated by the referee on uh, Malvaso. And we'll have a free kick awarded to Pat Marios. <laughs> The playing coach of uh, Pat Marios plays it off. Joe Hammer plays it off to Dino Cacciotti. Dino coming up to Frank Cristo. Can't control the ball, and Shulmistra has it for Nickel City. Shulmistra off. De Giacomo Antonio gets it back. Nguyen for Dottilio. Being challenged by Scarcelloni. Dottilio once again. Good determination in maintaining possession of that ball. To Nguyen, plays it back to Dottilio. Trying to control it on the sideline. Pushed forward for Malvaso. Malvaso's onside, on the way in, looking for support. He's got Giroux open in the middle. Giroux tries to get to it. Nguyen plays it square. Once again, off Nicolucci to Shulmistra. Shulmistra looking for Malvaso in the middle. Just uh, miss, miss timing on that one, but it was a nice build-up by Nickel City, Angel. Yes, it was. You know, it goes to see that uh, they lack a little bit of experience, you know, and uh, the team will be, will be fine in a little while. Fabiani with the ball. Fabiani to Di Giacomo Antonio. Looking for Castillo, chip forward. Oh, a bicycle kick there by Grassi for the clearance. Emil Mavasso and Scarcelloni get tangled up there, and the referee calls a free kick to Nickel City. Both players trying to get their head to the ball, and not much luck. Go, 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 go. Grassi playing it wide on the far side and unable to control it. Nickel City and Cacciotti with the throw in. Cristo with time, being challenged now, plays it to Nicolucci. Nicolucci with the ball, looking for some support. Nicolucci. Oh, looking for Di Giacomo Antonio there, I believe, but it's Dottilio coming forward to Shulmistra, tries to get it through. Scarcelloni is there, and Di Giacomo Antonio with control, playing for Cristo. Cristo has some support. Cristo tries to put it through. Good ball for Sagsworth. Sagsworth trying to bring it through into the box. Can't make it. And it's cleared into touch. Excellent play by Frank Cristo. And there's the experience you were talking oh, about. Oh, yes. Well. You know, when they have a play with experience, he knows wanted to make the right pass. And uh, there was a good pass right there. Di Giacomo Antonio from the touch line. Cristo is there. Cristo shielding the ball well. Pushes it through. Nobody there to run onto it. And Malvaso tries to get ahead to it. But Hammer is there for Pat Marios. This is number 16. That's uh, Dory. Playing it through for Dallas Dottilio. Dottilio coming forward. Dottilio, bit of a shield there from uh, Emil Malvaso, but the ball is uh, shot well wide of the net. No trouble at all for keeper Marino Scarcelloni. What are the other rules that uh, we were talking about at the break between the half? Uh, Angelo, well, is the, uh, uh, the whole issue uh, is goalie moving on penalty yes, kicks. Yes, on penalty kicks, the goalie is, is moving all the time. And the rule states that if the goalie moves before the ball is kicked, uh, the kick should be retaken. But this is a rule that uh, nobody is enforcing. And uh, it would be a good thing if FIFA would take the rule right out of the book. Well, uh, certainly we saw lots of that in the World Cup oh, on yes. penalty shots. Oh, yes, we see lots. And uh, there was a complaint that the kick should be retaken, this and that, and uh, it creates controversial. Uh, substitution here for uh, Pat Marios. Uh, Frank Anselmo back into the game, I think playing uh, in the sweeper position. And uh, Cesar Pacito has taken off uh, Marino, replaced Marino Di Giacomo Antonio. This play gets underway. Oh, 
Segsworth challenging there, and it's cleared away. Pacito looking for the ball. Dory can't get through, but puts pressure on Cacciati, and it's into touch, and we'll have a throw in awarded to Nickel City. Rob Scarcelloni in the way of that uh, pass by Emil Malvaso. It goes into touch, and we'll have a throw in awarded to the Nickel City Lasers. Malvaso into the middle. Nicolucci read that well. Helped out by Dino Cacciati. Pushed in. Nicolucci for Sexworth. Can't get his foot to it. And we have number four, Grassi, with control. Grassi pushes it wide. Cesar Pacito coming forward for Cristo. Cristo. And we have number 16. That's Mike Dory once again. Dallas Dottilio. He's got support on the far wing. Looking for Nguyen, but uh, Fabiani to, is it in Rubai, is it in Rubai? Maintains control, plays it out on the far wing to Roy Fabiani, is it in Rubai? Into touch, and a throw in awarded to Nickel City, and Rubai has set up a beautiful goal on the, the first goal. Yes, he did. Uh, Rubai is a, he's a finesse player, you know. You, we would like to see more players like him, you know, and uh, he really treats the ball well. He knows how to treat the ball. Well, he was telling me that uh, in Libya, which is where he's from, the game is uh, not nearly as physical as it is in Canada, and he yeah. finds it difficult to to adjust to the to the more physical game. And he says, if that's the way we got to play, then uh, I guess that's the way it's got to be. But he says, I don't like it very much because I'm a little guy and I tend to get knocked around a fair bit. Yes, I uh, I know the guy myself, and, uh, and he was explaining me that. He said uh, in Libya, where he comes from, I said you didn't see the soft stuff. He said here is too much. Well, you know, I said so that's the way they play the game here. And, you know, it's too bad to see this, you know, because the game should be very nice, you know. Well, it's it, certainly a very technical player and lots of excellent individual oh, skills. Oh, yes, it, it is. It is too bad it isn't uh, any more like him here, you know. Well, set play. Flex off. And Nguyen clears it to Malvaso. Malvaso brings it down. Malvaso in midfield. Coming out to the near wing, being challenged by Castillo. Challenged there. Ball's on the touch line, into touch, and we'll have a throw in. Anselmo plays it back to his keeper, Marino Scarcelloni, and played forward to Renato Nicolucci. I can see the linesman, he hesitated a little bit uh, which way the throw in was uh, supposed to go, you know. Nicolucci plays it back to his keeper. Looks as if Pat Marios is in no rush. They've got a three goal lead, and there's about 27 minutes left in this. Uh, senior men's soccer game between Pat Marios and Nickel City Lasers. Headed it to Richard Schulmistra. Schulmistra controlling the ball, plays it back to Mark Barrett. Mark Barrett for Schulmistra, challenged by Christo. Christo coming forward, return pass from Segsworth. Christo coming forward. And number four, Grassi gets in the way of that. Is it in Rubai with control? Looking for support, he's got Christo. Christo be beating his man into the box, looking for Castillo or Pacito, but neither one of them can get to it. But again, good build-up and nice ball movement. Oh, oh yes, good build-up. A little bit more luck it uh, would create a good scoring chance there, you know. So we'll have a goal kick here for Nickel City Lasers as we move into the second half. Pat Mario's playing a 4-3-3 for the first time, I believe, this year. and It, it works. It works for them. Anselmo coming forward to Nicolucci. Anselmo coming forward again in support. Shot by Nicolucci. Oh. Just high, just a little wide of that net, but a nice shot from, uh, yes, from well out. A beautiful shot. And uh, the goalie had to be alert, otherwise the ball would be in the net. He That's right. The goalie got a hand to it, obviously. Oh, yes, he did. Yes. Because the referee has indicated a, go a corner kick, and Carlo Castillo there to take this. Players coming forward. Nicolucci tries to get ahead to it. Balls come back to him. Can't control it in the box. No foul, says the referee. Play on. Malvaso to Shulmistra. Fabiani is there. Played back to Rob Scarcelloni, who plays it back to his brother, Marino Scarcelloni. Long clearance. And ball indicated by the referee with a little assistance from about 10 or 20 fans. <laughs> yes, that was a clear handball. Eh? Into the middle for Nicolucci. Can't get ahead to it. Cristo comes back. 
Crystal controls. Up in the air, Nicolucci flicks it on. Lovely play. Pacino with a shot and a great save by Aaron Brownlee on a excellent play by an excellent against some save. experienced players. Yes. Oh yes, and they call it. They call it. They call it keeping them in the game. The score could be five or six nothing if it was for the keeper. He played well. That goes to show you the experience. You know, wins games for you. You know. Once again, a corner kick quickly taken. Short corner to Pacino. Pacino with the cross. Scarcelloni's up, and it's a Good. goal. Good. A Good. lovely Good. goal. Good. Rob Scarcelloni coming up from the back. Gets ahead on that cross from Cesar Pacino at the 20 minute mark of the second half to make it Pat Mario's four. Nickel City Lasers, no score. Again, a lovely, lovely goal. Oh, yes, that's a lovely goal. That's the third goal, uh, third goal I believe, on set plays. That, that goes to show you the experience, you know. That's, uh, that's what uh, Nickel City are lacking. You know, they had a lot of set plays, but they couldn't do nothing with it. We're just waiting to get play underway. And Atilio plays it back to Giroud, Giroud to Mark Barrett. Mark Barrett being challenged. Nguyen, Nguyen with the ball. Looking for Dory on the far wing, on the near wing, I should say, but Cacciotti and Anselmo are there. Anselmo to Scarcelloni. To Pacito on the near wing. Pacito into the middle. Segsworth didn't move for it, and it's cleared quickly, but Scarcelloni is there. And an infraction foul by number 13. That's uh, David Cacciotti on Rob Segsworth, and we'll have another free kick from a dangerous area once again. Yes, sir. You know, there is no need for that. You know, you know, the guy had no chance of getting the ball. He went strict at the main, you know. Castillo with the cross, off Segsworth with a chance, and can't put it in with his left foot. But again, another set play, another yes, good another opportunity. Play, a good opportunity, and he just missed by a little bit, you know. And we'll have a goal kick for the Nickel City Lasers. Substitution apparently indicated by the linesman. The referee holds up play. Mil Malvaso, I believe, coming off, and uh, Giroux, is that uh, that? Mr. Giroux yes. co coming off. Coming on is uh, Mr. Hayes, and I believe that's uh, Mashoki Abrams, number 15 for Nickel City Lasers. For Sagsworth on an excellent play, but can't get to that ball. Excellent play by Carlo Castillo. And Brownlee picks up that ball. Brownlee. Long ball through, Fabiani is back. Maintains control, being challenged there, but good play by Roy Fabiani. Fabiani maintaining control for Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni plays it back. Out of danger and into the hands of his brother, Marino Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni taking his time, letting his players move forward, and we'll have the long clearance here. Good point. Looking for is it in Rubai? Rubai brings that, plays that ball nicely back, but Dottilio is there to intercept. Dottilio coming forward. Obstruction indicated by the referee against uh, uh, Roy Fabiani, as I believe it was Dallas Dottilio tried to get through there. And a uh, little bit of chatting out in the field. Referee's got it under control. It appears having a chat with one of the players. And play resumes. Dottilio trying to go through. Good ball forward. That's number 11. That's Hayes, I believe. Shot, and it's cleared by Frank Anselmo over the goal line. So we'll have a corner kick to Nickel City. Nickel City trying to put some pressure on and score some goals. Well, if they want to get back in the game, Bob, they're going to have to do. They're going to have to start to score some goals, or otherwise there's not too much time left. But, uh, you can see the, the Patamario defense there. They are overpowered, the, the small uh, Nickel City forwards there. Well, certainly, uh, if we watch, judging from the World Cup, just about every team had a couple of defenders well over six feet. Oh, yes, they had, uh, especially German and uh, Italy had some, and almost all the teams had uh, defenders. This gives you an advantage on uh, high balls and uh, set plays and corner kicks. 
So we're here, we got play underway once again. Push through, long ball, Dino Cacciati there with the clearance, looking for Fabiani, Fabiani gets ahead to it. Nguyen is there, Nguyen with the ball for Nickel City, off Fabiani and we'll have a throw in for Nickel City. Plays it to Mark Barrett, Barrett gets ahead to it, but it's quickly taken away by Izzet and Rubai. Sagsworth plays it back to Rubai. Rubai coming forward, looking for some support. Nicolucci's in the middle with time. Over on this wing to Cesar Pacito. Pacito moving back into midfield, plays it to Frank Cristo. Frank Cristo tries to play it out for Dino Cacciotti. Can't make the connection and will have a Nickel City throw in. But those, the three players or four players that were involved there, I think have been playing together for about 30, almost, well, 20 years anyway. Oh yeah, at least that, Paul, that's for sure. <laughs> Cheeto to Castillo. Castillo with the ball. Good ball by Renato Nicolucci. Pacito challenged there by number four, Grassi, and Grassi puts that ball uh, over the touchline and we'll have a throw in. But an excellent build up once again, and Grassi uh, came through, challenged effectively, put the ball in the touch, and avoided any further damage. Renato Nicolucci, I think we're going to be looking at another long throw here for Pat Mario's players in the box. Segsworth is there, challenged by Shilmistra. Long clearance, looking for number 16, Dory. Frank Anselmo is there. Choki Abrams. Keeper's out of position, he's out of the box, and Frank Anselmo gets a foot to it, pushes that ball over the goal line once again, and I believe we have another corner, but uh, that was a potentially dangerous play, and yes. Frank Anselmo was able to save yes, the day. Yes, he was. Well. He, he, he tried to take the ball. He didn't get all the ball. He misjudged the ball, but then uh, he came back to make a, uh, you know. Here we go on the corner kick. Nicolucci gets a foot to it. Nguyen with, trying to get the ball through. Nguyen once again. Up in the air. Dottilio there. Dottilio four. Nickel City, looking for space, trying to make the play, and an infraction indicated by referee Angelo DiPaolo against uh, Cesar Pacito just outside the penalty area. And we'll have another opportunity for a set play from Nickel City. Patilio notices players are standing now, and earlier in the game they were moving, and I think yeah. he should be moving onto the they ball. They should be moving around and create space, uh, go into open space there. There you go. We wasted uh, opportunity there. So Mr. being challenged by Scarcelloni, it's cleared. Rubai challenging there, Rubai. And uh, the linesman on the far side, Silvio Ferrucci, indicates that the ball went over the touch line and we'll have a throw in to Nickel City Lasers. Long throw. And Selmo gets ahead to it. Challenge there. Bicycle kit. And Anselmo's there to see. Push it well over the touchline, out of danger. And we'll have a throw in once again for Nickel City in just a moment. Let me remind you of the upcoming game between the Hamilton Steelers and the Sudbury Selects. Friday, July the 27th at 8 p.m. at Queen's Athletic Field. Should be an exciting contest, an opportunity for young players uh, to see some of the, the best professional players in Canada. Alex Bunbury, I understand, is going to be coming up with the Hamilton team. Uh, we're hoping that uh, perhaps Colin Miller will have recovered from his injury and will he'll be back. But certainly a lot of exciting players and an opportunity for uh, Sudbury fans to see if some of Canada's best soccer players as this ball is pushed forward an excellent play there by uh, David Cacciotti to come back and play that shield the ball and play it back to his Please keeper and prevent yes. Carlos Castillo from a shot Fabiani and Anselmo there for Pat Marios to Cristo Cristo plays it back to his keeper Marino Scarcelloni Pat Marios in no great hurry here they've uh, got a four goal lead uh, Frank Anselmo, Cesar Pacito and Mario Cherry in the first half and Robert Scarcelloni in the second half uh, to give them that lead Nguyen challenged by Rubai Rubai to Cristo, Cristo to Castillo, Castillo coming and again that's uh, number four Grassi who's doing an excellent uh, job oh, at the back uh, for Nickel City he did, uh, he did extremely well, you know, to clear the ball, you know. Uh. 
Uh, he seems to be uh, the person most often uh, in the last uh, player like playing like a sweeper, although I think he's uh, really the stopper for the team. But nonetheless, he seems to be back most of the time and having to make those plays. Nickel City unable to keep that ball in, and so we'll have another corner kick for Pat Marios. This is the kind of play that's generated three of the four goals so far. Pacito and Selmo's up. Show Mister gets ahead to it. Rubai tries to uh, pound it on the volley, but Brownlee is there. Quick clearance by the keeper trying to catch the Pat Marios defenders up, but uh, into touch. And a throw in to Pat Marios. Played back, Frank Anselmo controls it to Rob Scarcelloni. Rob Scarcelloni into Roy Fabiani. Fabiani coming forward to Segsworth. Segsworth tries to play square. And Mashoki Abrams coming forward. Rob Scarcelloni plays it back to his brother. Marino and will have a punt by the Pat Marios keeper. Rubai gets ahead to it, flicks it forward, sex with challenging Barrett there. Mark Barrett maintains control and plays it back to his keeper. Aaron Brownlee bringing the ball forward so he can get that ball further up the field on his punt. Crystal there, pushes the ball through for, is it in Rubai? But number 10, that's, uh, I believe it's Steve Catchin, but Catchin was back uh, to play to his keeper. Shilmistra challenged by Nicolucci. Cristo there, Segsworth with the ball, challenged. And Mark Barrett once again, with time. Plays it to Catchin on the far side. Challenged by Segsworth into touch, and we'll have a Nickel City throw in. Frank Anselmo there, Shomistra shielding the ball well. Frank Crystal comes away, plays it in the middle. Challenged here, but good moves by David Cacciotti pushing it forward to Richard Shomistra. Shomistra plays it wide to Hayes. Hayes on the near wing, pushing it forward. Cesar Pacito is back, plays it back to his keeper. Long clearance looking for Carlo Castillo. Into touch, and it'll be a Nickel City throw in. Pat Mario's there trying to key it the Nickel City players forward with a long clearance, but didn't quite work. Andrew. No, not this time. This time it didn't quite work. No. Shomistra into the middle, but Scarcelloni is there. Looking for Segsworth. Segsworth gets a foot to it. Segsworth keeps control, plays it back to Pacito. Pacito with control. In a touch, and we'll have a Pat Mario's throw in. Nicolucci, Nicolucci with the ball. Some support, switching the play to Rubai. Rubai chests it back to Roy Fabiani, who's moved up from his fullback position. Oh, lovely ball through, looking for Rubai. But Barrett is there with the catch and catch and good move. Forward looking for Dallas Dottilio. Looks to me like that went into touch, but uh, the linesman's flag didn't go up. And Frank Anselmo for Pat Marios. <laughs> to Frank Cristo. Frank Cristo switching the play for Cesar Pacito. Pacito moving into the middle. Handball called uh, by the linesman with a little help from, again, a few fans. Oh, yes. So they, they don't miss anything, the guys here. They, they know the game, you know? And so we'll have a free kick awarded to the Nickel City Lasers with about 11 minutes left to go in the game. And it's uh, Grassi coming forward for Nickel City. Looking for players in the box, but the Nickel City players are certainly outnumbered. I see about six Pat Mario's players to three for uh, Nickel City. And keeper Scarcelloni off his line quickly, throws the ball out to Izzet and Rubai. Rubai with the long ball through into the middle. Castillo tried to get to it, and Castillo's called for the foul by referee Angelo DiPaolo, and we'll have a free kick once again awarded to Nickel City. Catchin for Nickel City. 
Long ball through. Fabiani is there on the chest to Cristo. Cristo has got some support and plays it back to his keeper. Pat Mario's attempting to control the play, maintain possession, slow things down. Long ball. An infraction called on Segsworth, getting his hands on Barrett. Neither one of them in position to get that head ball, and Nickel City will have the free kick. Challenge from behind by Fabiani on Dottilio, called by the referee. Quick, Quickly taken to Schumistra. Schumistra plays it wide. Abrams. It's by, and Rob Scarcelloni came over to cover for Dino Cacciati, who slipped and puts the ball into touch. Then we'll have another Pat Marios throw in. Nickel City trying to press here. Throw in Scarcelloni once again, anticipating Mark Barrett. Beats Castillo. Coming forward, Mark Barrett. Excellent chance here for Shilmistra, but he can't get his foot to it. Can't make good contact, but that was uh, excellent work by Mark Barrett uh, to try and set up that scoring opportunity, and Richard Shilmistra couldn't finish it off. Well, that was the best chance they had through the game there. He just couldn't, he couldn't connect, that's all. And a couple of changes for Pat Mario's at this goal kick. We have uh, Renato Nicolucci coming off, and uh, is it in Rubai? And Mario D'Agostino and Danny Palladino go back in. Also, some changes for uh, Nickel City. I see Danny Giroux coming on. I see Emil Malvaso coming on. And I believe uh, Min Nguyen uh, has come off, as, uh, as well as, I believe it's uh, Mike Dory, but uh, Dory from uh, Nickel City. Goal kick to his play gets underway once again. Sagsworth gets ahead to it. Paladino is there. Fabiani's up on the wing, but catch it, intercepts. Dallas Dottilio, forward for Giroux. Fabiani comes back into his defensive position. Played through. Another chance for Shumistra here. Mashoki Abrams. And another excellent scoring chance, but just can't finish. Yes, uh, it was an ex uh, excellent scoring chance. He just couldn't fish it off. He never had control of the ball. Well. Long ball by Cristo for Castillo. Castillo with a chance here. Looking for the touch of the chip. Excellent ball by Carlo Castillo. And that's with about seven minutes left to go. So at about the 38-minute mark, uh, Carlo Castillo with a lovely ball. That's uh, just a little chip over everybody, Angelo. He played, he played very smart. You see the goalie coming out. They had to do it. Hold the ball over the goal into the net. Nice and gentle, you know, about uh, uh, Some other guys, they would, they, would, they would see the goalie come out. They would blast the goal. Right? The goalie either hit the goal or missed the net completely. Castillo played very smart. Excellent goal. So we're looking at 5-0. Uh, lead for Nickel City Lasers over uh, excuse me for Pat Mario's over the Nickel City Lasers with about seven seven and a half minutes left to go in this game Hayes pushing the ball forward for Abrams Abrams challenged by Cacciotti Cacciotti puts it into touch and we'll have a Nickel City throw in you know Bob that goes to show you when you miss one end and then they usually you know the ball comes down the other end and they score a goal but again, uh, speaking, of, we spoke earlier about OSL players. Uh, Carlo Castillo was one of the players who played for Sudbury United with uh, Frank Anselmo and Isidin Rubai last year. Oh, yes, yeah, so it shows. You know, the, you take Castillo, he's one of the hardest working players he's on the game tonight. You know, he, he works hard. Every every ball, he attacks the ball all the time. You know, he, he, that goes to show you the guy wants to play, you know. Challenging there, Pachito, Pachito working on against two players. And once again, it's Grassi with the ball. Grassi looking for Richard Schumistra and finds him in the middle. Schumistra controlling the ball, settling it down. This is Danny Giroux. Giroux being challenged from behind. Giroux comes forward, pushes it through for Dottilio. Dottilio coming forward with a chance. An excellent shot and a great save by Marino Scarcelloni. Beautiful shot, a beautiful save, Bob. Well, it's a little disappointing when you're watching a game like this with five goals, number of good scoring opportunities, some great saves, and uh, so few fans. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's what we're lacking here, Bob. But the people should come out a little bit more to support soccer. You know, soccer is a good game. You know, it's a good family game. You know, and it's the best bargain in town in oh, terms yes. of price. So it's <laughs> a lovely way pay. to spend a couple of hours uh, with the family, enjoying the game, and 
certainly uh, tonight it's been it's been entertaining if if perhaps a bit one-sided but Scarcelloni's made uh, one or two very good saves and uh, Nico Sidi could have had a couple of goals with a little bit more luck you know and uh, the other thing I, I like about it we've only seen one yellow card and, he, and even that was uh, a, a bit silly in terms of the way it happened it wasn't a violent challenge no, yeah. during the play but it's basically been a pretty clean game tonight it was a very, very clean game you know uh, it's like uh, when you see Pat and Mario the young guys they can learn a little bit from uh, these veteran, uh, veteran players you know and it's good like uh, you take Renato Renato Cesar Pasir and uh, Frank Chris they play well you know tonight they pass the ball they try to create things it's good to see that you know well the young guys they really just you know they don't think they putting the ball too much they should control the ball you know get control of the ball and control the game a little bit for Abrams but uh, Pashido is there to Anselmo Anselmo beats his man nicely turns him this is Mario D'Agostino Mario D'Agostino usually plays as a stopper playing in a midfield position Fabiani with the ball for Anselmo. Anselmo gets to it, brings it down. Can't control it. Catching. Coming forward for Nickel City. In the touch. No, I guess not. Now the ball is still in play. Patilio challenging Scarcelloni. Scarcelloni finally puts it into touch, which gives his players a chance to get back into the more defensive positions. See Frank Cristo, Frank Anselmo coming back uh, to take more defensive positions. Uh, Frank Anselmo playing as a fullback this evening, and Frank Cristo in midfield as Nickel City starts bringing players forward. But I notice again they've got four players back, uh, so they're going to be outnumbered. Uh, and at this stage of the game, I'd want to bring just about everybody forward and try and break that but goose egg. That, yeah, yes, that's true, Bob. And, uh, but, uh, you know, as, as a young team, they are like experience. And, uh, you know, they learn this as, uh, as uh, they get older. Well, a throw in for Nickel City. Patelio, once again, has played an excellent game. Shot there by Giroux. Wide of the goal, but... Nickel City pressing, and certainly Dallas Natilio has had an excellent game for Nickel City. Dallas Natilio, uh, every game I see him play this year, Bobby, he, uh, he works hard. He comes, he plays with his heart, you know, he comes here to play, and that, that's what I like about it. And uh, more, more young players should do the same, you know. He works hard all the time, and I, I love players like that. Well, that's one of the reasons he's been selected to play against Hamilton on Friday. It, it's nice to see young players, too. It, it'd be a good experience for him, you know. Well, that's one of the things that this upcoming game will do, and certainly uh, the Hamilton uh, management and executives will have an opportunity to see some of the best young talent in Sudbury as uh, Sexworth pushes it forward to D'Agostino. D'Agostino challenging, goes down, and uh, the referee has indicated uh, a free kick to uh, Pat Mario's, I believe. No, he's called it. Has he called it against? No, no, he favor of Pat and Mario, but uh, he called it outside the box. Bob. It's called outside the box, yes. so it'll be a free kick uh, to Pat and Mario's. Another set play opportunity. And once again, now we see the difference. Pat and Mario says everybody but two players uh, forward. Uh, they're up 5 nothing. They're looking to score once again. I guess everybody wants to get in on the act tonight. Oh, yeah. oh yes, so the goals are coming good tonight, and uh, everybody tried to get a goal. Sags with challenging Brownlee there. Keeper gets to it, but uh, the uh, referees are very careful these days about protecting the goalkeepers. Right. And uh, there was some contact, whistled down, and a free kick awarded. Uh, you have to you have to protect the goalie because uh, some games they take a little bit of abuse, you know. Well, I was talking to some of the old timers, and they tell me that in the old days it wasn't like that. Unless the goalie had absolute control of that ball, uh, he was fair. He was that ball was fair game. Yes, uh, in the older days it was about the fair game. But that's why uh, many goalies were getting hurt at that time. And now, you know, they don't want that this to happen anymore. You know. Well, I've seen a few players run at the goalie, and I don't think it's uh, it's fair or a wise move. So it, it's good to see. There's no point in having broken arms and legs no, that, that, uh, over that, that, a, over a, an amateur game that's supposed that, to be that's fun. That's true because tomorrow everybody got to go back and work. You know, I got to support the family. That's right. 
Aaron Brownlee with the clearance. Fabiani and Dottilio there. Dottilio brings that ball, controls it nicely. Moving into the middle. And an infraction called against Roy Fabiani. And we'll have a free kick to be taken by Nickel City Lasers just outside the box. Opportunity for a set play. They've moved another player forward, so they're pressing to break this goose egg. See, see look what they're doing wrong. See, they should put all the players forward. There's two guys or three guys near the ball where they're taking a free kick, which one guy going to take the free kick, the other guy's doing nothing. Look at that. Elvaso on the long kick, uh, wide of the net, and we'll have a uh, goal kick awarded to Pat Marios. We're just about at the end of this uh, this game, senior men's soccer game between uh, Pat Marios and Nickel City Lasers. I see the referee, uh, Angelo DePaulo, looking at his watch. And I suspect we'll have a whistle in just a moment. Yeah, any time now is almost... Long clearance by keeper Scarcelloni. And that's the whistle to bring this game to conclusion. Uh, the senior men's soccer game of the week. This week, it's Pat Mario's five, Nickel City Lasers, no score. I'd like to thank my uh, color commentator, Angelo Anselmo, for helping me out. I'm Bob Segsworth, and I'm hope, I hope you've all enjoyed senior men's soccer on TV7, your community sports channel. Thank you for watching.